What have we got here? The world's first autonomous driving vehicle for Mercedes-Benz? Yes, it's the first one for Mercedes-Benz. This is the car we pretty much used for the Berger Benz drives in Germany where we drove 100 kilometers from Mannheim to Pforzheim. And we brought the car over and adapted the software for the US which the traffic is a little bit different than in Germany. We have wider roads, the traffic lights are different on the intersections, mergers are different, and we have a couple of things we have to adapt for you and testing it here. It's totally autonomous, right? So we're going to hop in the back? Yes, you're going to hop uh, in the back. Heiko and myself have to sit in the front. Yeah. That's California regulation from the DMV that we have. We have a special driver license, we have special training in terms of sitting behind the wheel. Yeah. The car is driving itself, but we need to be there Safety. Safety if the car asks us to take over, if the situation or if that yeah. applies to that. So you're not going to touch it? We're just going to hop in and... Well, we're going to drive out and it. activate the system okay. and then it goes by itself. Excellent, let's go. So, here we go. Autonomous driving, we'll sit in the back, we won't touch anything. These guys will hop in, they won't touch anything and it'll drive itself, we hope. People spend more and more time in their cars, but soon, in a not so distant future, system is active. Self-driving cars will ease this commute. If the self-driving car will be coming to the roads is no longer a question. The question merely is, when? The self-driving S-Class is now tested on the roads of California. In the U.S., for example, streets are wider, traffic lights are differently positioned, you have right turn on red and four-way stops. What is the technology that enables the car to adjust and manage such vastly different situations? Equipped with eight radar systems and three cameras, the S500 Intelligent Drive garners endless information from the environment and processes this information in a split second. In combination with maps and GPS information, the research car knows its way around. Learning its environment is one thing. A whole other is learning to make informed decisions. Take a four-way stop intersection, for example. The rule appears to be simple. The first to stop is the first to go. This is something the autonomous driving Mercedes-Benz has to learn as well. And in case of any doubt, to act defensively. Equipped with the right hard and software, the research vehicle is able to more and more understand its environment and choose the correct maneuver for the situation. Knowing its way around is one thing, learning new traffic conditions the other. Combining both will turn autonomous driving into reality step by step. Well, that is phenomenal. Talk about back to the future. We just drove for 25 minutes around, some, around Northern California, where we are now. The car stops on a red light, goes on a green arrow, knows when to go, when not to go, brakes, accelerates, just like a normal car. It's not perfect, there's still a lot of work to be done with mapping, etc. but trust me, Mercedes-Benz is at the forefront of autonomous driving. <laughs>